and welcome back everybody welcome to another wild camping adventure so you reach me i'm out again with the dog got millie with me somewhere she's about in the woods somewhere um, i'm out for two nights it was a last minute thing uh, i had a really busy weekend with the boy at rugby and um yeah going to london on saturday a bit of a nightmare but still i'm out today um, I'm out for two nights, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to do a bit of carving while I'm here. Um, yeah, so anyway, let me get set up. So everyone, I'll show you the setup. We're back at the permanent camp. I've been processing a bit of words. Got the bench all set up for this evening. Yeah, Millie's around the trees there. She's just pottering about. Mills, Millie, here she comes. He's a girl. Eh? Who's a good girl? Go on, go on. Yeah, nuts. Anyway, let me show you the setup. So, I just lit the fire. That's just starting to go. Um, yeah, as you saw, I was making the bed, but I've just got uh, American Army issue bivy bag with my carp fishing sleeping bag in because it's really warm. Um, but this, this is new. It is, in fact, a British Army standard issue bug net. And I managed to pick this up at car boot for the grand sum of two pounds. I bought it primarily to go over my hammock in the summer. Um, but it has got four points here that you can put pegs in so you could peg it out to a certain height on the ground ground dwell on it yeah no looking forward to trying it out tonight bit of a novelty tonight but yeah a couple of quid on a car boot yeah it's amazing what you can pick up on car boots anyway got the water pack there got the little lamps either side yeah Got all my stuff behind the food, everything. I'm on a roll mat as well, so yeah, it looks all right. Um, so beautiful day. Millie's just chilling. 
I stacked all this up when me and Rich were here last time, so I've got plenty of wood. I'll keep me going for quite a while. It'll take me quite a while to chop it all up, but yeah, no, it'll be good wood. So, I'm going to make a brew. I've got a new kettle that I picked up at the car boot as well. So, yeah, we'll give that a go today. Right, catch you in a bit. And morning everyone the temperature last night dropped um, I think it dropped to about four degrees 
which for the time of year, oh, it was a cold one. Um, luckily enough, I had my hot water bottle next to me, which was Millie, who was still fast asleep. Yeah, um, I've just had a coffee, and now I'm just making some uh, some porridge. That should warm me up, keep me going. Yeah, really nice night though. Um, managed to have a, a, a three-way chat with Rich, uh, Richie, and also Del Boy Stanton, yeah. Yeah, meeting up with both of them at the weekend. Looking forward to that one. We're going down and we're gonna do a uh, two-nighter uh, down on the coast. Um, place called Seacombe Caves yeah nice I'm really looking forward to it I'm gonna meet up with Rich early on the Friday morning sort of nine o'clock ish get the rods out get out on the pier and see if we can catch some maybe a garfish or I don't know whether there's any mackerel in this time of year um, I doubt it but you know we can see we see if there's anything there we don't, don't know what we're gonna catch but yeah it's just about getting out and enjoying ourselves but yeah, really, really, really enjoying the time to reflect out here. You know, put things into sort of perspective. At home, you don't really get time to think because there's always something going on. Um, whether the boys at rugby or I'm out with Sam or we're doing something to the house. Yeah, there's always something going on. And and you do, you because you get into such a cycle of lots of things going on around you, you never really have time to just sit, chill, reflect. And this, this is a, a great opportunity to do that. Really enjoying it. I've got a bit of maintenance to do today. There's a couple of holly trees which are right in a spot where uh, when we have future camps that people could, could stay. Um, they've blown over so in them bad winds. So I'm going to clear them today. I'm also building this lean-to behind me. Um, that'll stop a lot of the wind coming from behind the bench. And also it'll give uh, a couple of spots for people to to, to ground dwell underneath. So, yeah. Because we are, we are gonna have a few camps here over the summer. It is an unmanaged woods, it's a public woods. It's actually unregistered land, I've already checked. Um, so, yeah. There's thousands and thousands of pockets of unregistered unregistered land in the UK. Um, nine times out of ten, they're owned. But down and down and down the families that it's been passed down, it's just been neglected. And and it's a shame about this wood. It's it's completely untouched. There's a lot of blown over trees. Um, a lot of dead standing and you know this little pocket here if if i am if i manage it well and it looks nice and you know it allows stuff to grow then great you know we take a lot of the dead wood away we burn the dead wood any fallen trees at the moment i'm i'm trying to clear yeah, it's just such a nice little thing to do. And yeah, my, my mind just goes, you know, you, you, it's like, it's great. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah. Love to own my own woods in the future. Love to be able to set up a community woods. I think that's the, that's the plan eventually. Have a community woods for a group of people that could use it whenever they wanted and manage it themselves yeah it wouldn't have to be 
huge amount three to five acres is what I'd like which is nice and manageable and it gives enough coverage for potential community camps so I'm gonna eat my porridge and um, I'll get back to you when I'm doing something later on So, it's been a really nice camp. I'll be honest, my battery bank wasn't charged, so I can't charge my phone. So, I'm afraid I won't be able to film anything tonight. But, I think this is long enough anyway. And I just wanted to take five minutes out anyway, just to say thank you to, to anyone who has liked, subscribed, commented on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. There's like a, a, a great community feel within the wild campers and the bush crafters. It's nice to see so many people getting out and meeting up and having great times. I met so many people at the East Anglian weekend with Craig and East Anglian Bushcraft. To name but a few. Lee, Lee Claxon, um, Tim, Austin. Thank you so much, Austin, for organizing that weekend with Craig and letting us use your woodland um, there was Ben Bellows legend 
Richie, another legend. Uh, Nathan, bikes and bushcraft. Um, yeah, there, there's so many. Posh Rat. I've watched uh, Posh Rat sit down and do the flint napping. And yeah, it's so, it's so interesting. And you can learn so much from these guys. Um, I'm actually meeting up with a few of them at the weekend. We're going out for a couple of nights. Um, Del Boy, myself, Nathan, and Richie. Yeah, the, so many nice people. Um, Dabbers in the bush, yes. Drabbers in the bush, sorry. Um, yeah. L Archer. L takes some amazing photos and puts them on Instagram. It's just really nice to, to meet so many like-minded people. And there's so many more, you know, I could be here for hours naming them. They all know who they are. They all know who they are that comment or they like. I just want to say thank you to everyone. We do this because some of us uh, have, have had times where we we struggled with mental health. I was one of the worst. I never even knew I had mental health problems. And then talking to someone, wow, that's not me. I've always been a strong, independent guy that can, you know, get through anything. But there is times in life where we just need to step back and have five minutes ourselves to think. And this is how I do it. I come out and I do this. It's such a heartfelt feeling inside when someone comments, when someone likes, when someone subscribes. So yeah, from me, Wild Camping Adventures, thank you so much to everyone. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night tonight chilling out with Millie. I probably won't get any filming done. But, What more could I want? I've got a really nice fire. Thank you so much to Richie for helping me build this bench. Yeah, the camp's starting to take shape a little bit. But everyone out there, if this inspires you to get out, great, fantastic. Just get out, you'll enjoy it. Some people think that they can't spend time on their own, but you know what, it's easy. So, from me, Wild Camping Adventures, I'm gonna sign off once again. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night. Um, I'm going to listen to some nice music and chill. So until the next one, you all take care out there, keep safe, keep camping, and I'll see you on the next adventure.